As we come together this morning, I invite you to take a deep breath in. Allowing yourself to be fully present in this moment that you have chosen. And in our coming together, we remember that God tells us what is good and what is required of us to walk humbly with God in all times and places. Let our hearts be humbled in these next few moments of sacred devotion so that we may hear anew God's desire for us. This morning's scripture comes from the prophet Isaiah, chapter 53, verse 7. Hear now the reading of the Holy Word. He was oppressed and tormented, but didn't open his mouth. Like a lamb being brought to slaughter, like a ewe silent before her shearers, he didn't open his mouth. The word of God for the people of God. Thanks be to God. Let's think about this. I wonder if Jesus quoted these verses when his disciples were arguing over greatness and who would get to sit where when Jesus' time of glory began. The suffering servant passage in Isaiah can be hard one to take in. It is hard to envision our Savior standing mute before those who sought to hurt and destroy. Really, it's hard to think about anyone in such desolate terms. Our instinct is to fight back, to go down swinging, not to stand silent. And yet, this is the Savior we follow and worship. There are certainly moments when taking a stand is the holiest and most necessary action. Yet, there are many more moments when a humbler stance is what will enable the light of Christ to shine. It takes wisdom to know the difference. And for that, we must pray without ceasing. May we know both when to speak and when prudent silence is the better path. If you'd pray with me, God, please grant me the wisdom to know when to speak up and to know when humble silence is best. Hold my tongue when I wish to use it to do harm. Loosen it when it is time to speak up on behalf of the vulnerable. Amen. And as we prepare to go from this place, my prayer for you is that you take some time to pause, as we have heard Jesus do in scriptures that we have heard together, to evaluate, to look, to take in the situation before responding, and remember that it is always best when you speak out of love. And servant of God, you are loved. You are loved beyond measure. You are holy and you are worthy. Now, go in peace, in humility, and in joy to serve the Savior who humbled himself for you. Go in peace.